For the first step, we will line up our fractions vertically. For our second step, we can't subtract 5 from 1, so we'll need to borrow. What we're going to do is we're going to cross out this 1 and make it a 0. Then we need, since we took one whole, we're going to make this fraction 6 sixths. But we need to add 1 to 6. So it would really be 7 sixths. Our, an improper fraction. Now that we've changed 1 sixth to 7 sixths, we can subtract 5 from 7. We'll get, and we get 2. And since we, and 6 is on both of our fractions, it is our common denominator, we'll keep that the same. Because 2 sixths isn't an improper fraction, we have our answer. The first step is to line your fractions in to line up your fractions in vertical order. Now that you've lined up your mixed numbers, you need to you need to find the common the least common denominator. So by doing that, you're going to have to do 5 times 6, which equals 30. And you can't do 6 times 6 because that is 36. So you're going to have to do 6 times 5, which equals 30. Now you have your common denominator. So, since you multiply the bottoms by 5 and, by five and 6, you're going to have to do the same with the numerators. So, for example, 1 times 6 equals 6. And, five, and 1 times 5 equals 5. So, now you're going to have to subtract, but you can't take 5 away from 6. Or 6 away from 5. So you're going to have to you're going to have to cross out the whole number, make it a 3 or make it the number below um, what your number is. And so since I borrowed, mine is going to be a 15 now. So 15 minus 6 is 9. So my answer would be 9 thirtieths. Our first step is to line up our fractions vertically, like this. The first step is to find the lowest common denominator. 2 times 2 is 4, so that is our lowest one. So 2 times 2 is 4, so that's our common denominator. But what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So 1 times 2 is 2. Since, it's our, since we have a common denominator, we can just put that down here right away. And then we just add the numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3, so our answer is 3 fourths. So for 5 twelfths plus 4 twelfths, you're going to need to line that up like I did. And then after you've done that, you're going to need to figure out what 5 plus 4 equals. And 5 plus 4 equals 9, so your answer is going to be 9 twelfths. But you're not done yet, because it can be simplified. So you're going to divide it by 3, 12 divided by 3, equals, um, 3 times 3 is 9, so that would be 3. And 12 divided by 3 equals, um, equals 4. So your answer is going to be 3 fourths. For the first step, we have to line up our fractions vertically. Second, we need to find a common denominator. 3 times 3 is 9, so that is our lowest common denominator. Having the lowest common denominator is best. So 3 times 3 is 9, and what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 
So two times three is six. Next, we put our common denominator down here and subtract the numerators. Seven subtract six is one. So our answer is one nine. Your first step will be to line your fractions in vertical form like this. After you've done that, you will need to find your common denominator. And 4 times 2 equals 8. And you always multiply the, numerator, the numerator by the same thing as the denominator. And 1 times 2 equals 2, so you get 2 eighths. You can't subtract 2 from 3, so you need to borrow. And 2 eighths... Becomes eight eighths. Becomes eight eighths. Or one whole. You have to add that to that. And then you need to add eight to two. So you get ten eighths. And ten minus three And ten minus three is and ten minus three is seven. So your answer is seven eighths. The end! Thanks for watching!